So Bot Insight is the embedded analytics and data visualization engine in the Enterprise A2019 platform. It enables you to get insights about your bots and from your bots. All you have to do to get insights from your bots is to drag and drop, select what you'd like to analyze and get one click visual dashboards that can be shared. So that you have no need to go through lines and lines of spreadsheets or feed data into various data analyze, analyzation or visualization tools. It's just immediate shareable insights. So now uh, what I've done now is I kind of launched into a, a bot, mo bot creator mode. In this case, what you're seeing is I, in the middle panel, I have I've created a bot and I see various actions on the left hand side and I see a more detailed view on the right hand side. So what this bot does is, is looks at the data coming in from your income statement, your balance sheet, your liabilities and stockholder equity and your cash flow, various kind of, uh, it kind of in a way does your financial close. It looks at all the data that is processed as part of your financial close, be specifically be your income statement, revenue income, all of that processes it through a financial close uh, process for you. Now, while you're doing that as a, as a sales leader or a finance leader, uh, you'll be really interested in understanding what are the key metrics that drive your financial health of your organization. So for example, I'm looking at revenue, I'm looking at cost, I'm looking at, uh, at sales. There's a lot of important metrics that would be important for business users. So what I'll do first is kind of show you the developer experience of how you enable these processes and bots to be able to send data for analytics. So as I showed you before, this is a bot process, which is doing a bunch of steps, processing data from income statements, balance sheet, cash flows, etc. So as I zoom in, I will, let's kind of look into one specific process and see how you start instrumenting this data. So that all this data is available for you in analytics. So I just kind of uh, focus on one specific process, but the process remains the same throughout. So as you can see, in this step for the income statement, I'm kind of in a way looping through, uh, looping through the data and I am accessing the, the data through various variables. And these variables are in a way keeping the data that's required for me. And the next step for me is now think about now all the data is there. Now, how do I make it available for analytics? And what we've done is we made it very simple for the bot developer to instrument data for analytics. So what we have done is added a command called analyze. And if, if a bot developer wants to make data available for analytics, they simply have to choose the analyze command and say analyze open on when they want to start the process and click on analyze close on when they want to complete the process for data for analytics. So once you do that, and what you'll see is that analyze open and analyze close. And on the right hand side, you'll see all the variables that are part of my bot. And some of them are checked and some of them are not checked. So this as a bot developer, once again, I have a choice to in a way, select which data I'm sending for analytics and which data is not. So I have a lot of flexibility in not only tagging the data, but also choosing which data is available for analytics or not. So kind of, I kind of set, set up all this process for, for me. And once I'm happy with all of that, I can simply click on analyze. And what that's going to do is going to create a default dashboard out of the box with all the data that I've just tagged up. So once again, key point to note, as a bot developer, I've not done any dash dashboard development. I've not done anything else. I've just simply tagged the data. And the power of bot inside is that you can create a default dashboard with all these metrics that I tagged before. And then as a bot developer, I can once again, go ahead and customize this to make sure that this shows me the exact data metrics, shows me all the visualizations that I want to know. And these, uh, bot, these uh, dashboards, are, this one's also very interactive, right? Absolutely. These are completely interactive. You can kind of uh, slice and dice them. You can filter, you can generate PDFs, you can uh, change the time filters. You can do all of that. So as I said, uh, as a bot developer, the workflow would be is to kind of generate this default dashboard and customize. And once I customize it and I'm happy with it, I go ahead and save, save as a new version and then publish it for my business users to access. So that in a way completes the developer workflow. So once the published process is complete, now my business users, they can come to bot insight and this can straight away go to the business tabs and look at all the dashboard that they have access to and go to this particular dashboard, which is the monthly revenue dashboard and start accessing the data, interacting with the data. They don't have to worry about the bot development and tagging and all of the things that you saw before. So they come straight to the dashboard. 
as you can see this dashboard shows you the units sold the gross sales the total profits of my organization as well as it shows me uh, the gross sales by country the profits by month the units sold by market segment etc so very important metrics that that gives me a window on how my organization is performing so all of this data is aggregated real time and and updates automatically while the bot is running this is very interactive i can hover on on any data point and see on what's happening and i think this can actually replace um you know instead of doing the static kind of reports uh, that maybe um the finance department is pulling together for the executive team at let's say month close or quarter close this could be just much more richer insights and just a better way to explain what's happening in the business right absolutely absolutely sabha this is a very interactive dashboard where you can real time interact with the data in fact we see a lot of customers work with dashboards in real time in, in meetings while they don't have to kind of in a way carry printed reports or carry papers in the meetings they can straight away access the dashboard in the meeting and then interact with this live and show different kind of uh, insights based on what what you're looking for for example for the interactive so let's say i've looked at the entire dashboard and now i'm only interested in a certain business segment of my organization for example i want to look at how my enterprise side of my business is doing so simply i just go to my filter tab and say i want to filter by business segment of enterprise and now in one click it's going to update your entire dashboard to show me data only for my business segment so if i am a leader who if a sales leader who leads the enterprise segment i can in one click see how my business unit is performing and see all the key uh, sales and finance metrics for my business unit so all my widgets are updated as well i can do something similar at a particular widget level as well so for example if you see that donut chart in the middle which shows units sold by market segment i can also do a similar filter where i filter by once again an enterprise segment now that's going to filter only that particular widget to show me data for enterprise all the other widgets continue to say show me the entire data but only this particular widget is now filtered to show me only the segment data so very interactive i can kind of in a way slice and dice change the data and show what's relevant for me the other use case is what we call as drilling down or slicing and dicing so as you can see uh, the dashboard on the initial view shows you an overall summary view of what's happening with the organization now with this drill down panel now you can start digging deeper into the data so for example i started with discounts by country i can i start thinking about discounts by segment discounts by month all of that right? so can i said can i kind of start drilling into a complete analysis workflow to understand exactly what's happening at the deepest level so let's do that so i've got my discounts by country uh, bar chart i can now click on any of the bars and say i want to know more i want to drill down by in this case segment so now i am able to see for the country i selected i am able to see the metrics for each business segment and how they are broken up i can continue this workflow even further i can click on any of these bars and say i want to drill down further so again enterprise uh, the government band i can say drill down by month now i want to see a break up by month what were my discounts by country So as you can see in a few clicks I was able to start off with a very summary view and I'll start drilling down by various dimensions to see the insights that I'm looking for. So very interactive uh, very uh, so the all of this can be done in a few clicks as opposed to creating separate reports for each dimension each level. So all of that is available out of the box for you. And finally uh, there's a lot of interactivity options as well. on the actions panel there you'll see a bunch of options that's available for me to take action on the dashboards for example the, the top two are save as and save so as i start creating some filters i can go ahead and save those filters i can customize the widgets i can go ahead and save those widgets and i can also create my own personal dashboard as well give it my name and say that uh, so that click on save as where so that i can have my own personal dashboard Uh, let's look at some other options compare compare gives you the ability to compare one dashboard view to another so across the timelines i can share this dashboard with other of my colleagues uh, publish is uh, where i can also once i'm kind of in a way happy with the dashboard i can publish it for consumption by by everyone delete is uh, if i want to delete this dashboard and filter is a kind of another way of uh, as i showed you before by uh, setting up dashboard or widget filters you can also set up filter on the actions panel 
And finally, the last two options are if you want to make available the dashboard to your colleagues in an offline mode, you can either take a screenshot, you can generate an image of the dashboard, or you can download the image that you, the, the view that you're seeing as a PDF to be shared with your colleagues in an offline manner. So not only do you have a full interactive view, you can also generate an offline view as well. The final uh, feature that I want to talk about is what we call as data profile. As once you go in the profile tab, now you can see all the various data elements that are available for your dashboards. So now in a way you can understand the shape of the data, what kind of data is flowing through your process. You can see all the various variable names, what are the display names, data types, are they included or not, and also start understanding the shape. For example, if there are any numbers, you can understand what is the minimum and maximum and average of all the data flowing through your process. So that in a way helps you to understand some of the metrics that are driving these dashboards. So I'll kind of just go through the list of all the dashboards. We also provide a set of metadata that's as useful for you, which is what we call as transaction data. So you might want to understand what is my transaction status, my transactions time. So all of this metadata is also provided for you in addition to the variables that you tag in your pod, pod building process. So for example, let's say in this case, I want to understand the shape of data for my segment. I want to understand what are my business segments and what uh, what is the data flowing through for each of these segments. So if I click on the rank uh, button, I can see that for my segment field, the government segment had 45 records while the others had 15 records each. So very quickly in one click, I understand the shape of data flowing through a bond. So this once again helps me understand what is going on in my processes and how my business is doing and gives me a good visibility into my business metrics across the organization. So that's all Sabha. So as I said, business metrics provide you a great visibility into how your business is performing. Uh, it has a window into all the data that's flowing in your process. And now you can generate out of the box dashboards or custom dashboards to show you uh, key business metrics on how your organization is performing.